I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a great example of another piano that really, really sets us apart here at Brigham Larson Pianos. We, uh, we, we do have pianos of every age and shape and size from, from very, very old to brand new, straight from the factory. Colors, huge, huge selection. But, uh, but pianos like this, very, very few places that this is they're hard to find uh, so so just to kind of give you an example of some contrast that I'm talking about just around this corner we have well this one for example is a 1973 Kawhi and there, here's a here's a Steinway Model M here's a Yamaha G2 there's a Yamaha G3 there's a, a Schimmel and another ya one two Yamahas anyway Yamahas and Steinways Schimmels these are great pianos <clears throat> and I love them but they are not unique. Um, so the way we try to kind of set ourselves apart on pianos like that is through, through if, if they're not brand new, we will completely refurbish them so they're in perfect condition and then our prices are, are very, very reasonable. But very few places have a fully, fully functioning shop and refinishing room, uh, which makes projects like this very difficult. So this piano, is awesome and you and it, you you would be very hard pressed to find a piano like this really a unique instrument in so many ways so where do i begin um, unique characteristic number one why don't we say the age this one's 1882 originally manufactured it's in uh, perfect condition now that i'll get into but uh, 1882 that's a long time ago 100 and 140 years ago that's it's like playing a piece of history so that's super cool okay unique characteristic number two this is rosewood which rosewood is now totally illegal because it was so over harvested and overused in this period because it's so beautiful so highly desirable and unobtainable now Let's check out this lid. Check out the underside of that lid, that rosewood. The top of the lid here. There's rosewood. Unique characteristic number three. I'm just making these up, by the way. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I would say the legs. Th those legs are extraordinary unusual there were companies at this time i read in a book that uh, and and the liar for that matter that's the liar is spelled l-y-r-e not l-i-a-r the liar l-y-r-e there were companies at this time that were doing nothing but manufacturing piano legs and i would assume along with that piano liars as well it, it and and you can see that that this it really is a discipline all on its own to, to create legs like this would be very, very difficult, especially before the days of CNC machinery. Even during the days of CNC machinery, it would be very difficult. But uh, those are solid wood legs, and they are gorgeous. I think this piano does a really good job of, of uh, hmm, how would you put it, kind of combining uh, understated beauty with, along with, uh, some some of that real Victorian era ornateness. It's a, I think it's a good balance of the two. It's not over the top like like maybe that Steinway that we're rebuilding right there is just pure Victorian ornateness. There is nothing understated about that one. But this one really meshes the two. For example line straight lines here on the fall board and 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 the general keyboard area is is fairly straight and straight lines or and and not not over the top ornate music desk fairly uh, understated except for a little flourish here but then the legs and the lyre that's where that's where it really and i guess along the trim along the exterior here you can see the uh, some more flourishes that uh, 
or more in the Victorian tradition of, of uh, ornamentation. Okay, characteristic, what are we on, number four, I think, is this piano was totally rebuilt, which, uh, which for an 1880s piano would be, frankly, rare if it, if it didn't need to be completely rebuilt or, or if it were to, to play well, really requires rebuilding. So this, you, you, can, you can really make a claim that, that a piano is quote unquote rebuilt uh, with, with a fairly wide range, wide variety of, of, of uh, the sco project scopes, I guess you could say. This one is pushing the project scope about to the limit. So let's talk about what that means. For example, this plate has been, has been removed, it's been re-gilded. The bridges are totally recapped. So you can see, if you look under the strings there, you can see the seam where the new cap was rebuilt. And all of these were re-chiseled and re-drilled at exactly patterned after the old bridge. Beautifully done. And the same with the base bridge. There it's maybe a little bit more obvious where the seam is. Right here. See the seam of the new bridge cap. Okay. Dampers. All the damper heads are original. Damper damper felts are new. Strings, of course, that probably goes without saying if we're going to redo the bridges and the plate. The uh, strings are new. The uh, uh, soundboard is, is original, but it's been, it's been re refinished, so it's beautiful. It looks like it's new, but it isn't. It still has the, and, and which, which I've, I've heard the argument made, by the way, that uh, that's actually a, you, you wouldn't want to get rid of a soundboard on a piano that's 1882 because people make the claim that soundboards can sweeten with age, which I've found to be true in some cases, not true in others. In this one, I would say it is definitely the case. This is a sweet, sweet soundboard. Then the action, the action you can, you can see down, down in there, the shanks are new, the knuckles, the flanges, hammers are new. Trap work has been has been redone. Keys have been redone. This decal here, this is a replica decal of what was there originally in 1882. Of course, when we refinish it, we strip off everything, strip it down to, you know, bare bare wood, and part of that is the old decal has to go. So, uh, put on a replica. So this is a pretty special piano. coming through in this video 
six foot three, by the way, which is big enough that it has this kind of power, but not so big that it uh, is going to take over your whole living room. Longevity is, is concerned. No question, this piano has decades, many, many, many decades. So by the time this piano starts getting, getting tired again, uh, we're, we're probably going to be looking at 200 years. I mean, we're probably 20, the year, the year 2080, it'll, it'll maybe start getting to the point where, where it'll need some refurbishing again. 200 year old instrument, that would be super cool. And this piano absolutely will, will be there. Um, a few years hence. Come check it out and see what you think. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.